Today, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson made it clear he's not on board with an 8 p.m. curfew downtown for teenagers. The measure was introduced today at City Council in response to that rash of recent crime around Streeterville. Political reporter Paris Schatz has a reaction from City Hall. Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins says police came to him asking for an 8 p.m. curfew for unaccompanied minors, saying if this had been in place a week ago, a vicious attack in Streeterville might have been avoided. A young couple out in the city last week attacked by teenagers. Hopkins says police could have intervened if a current 10 p.m. curfew for unaccompanied minors aged 18 and under had been moved to 8 p.m. Had they had the ability to break this crowd up, they knew they were underage, they could have potentially prevented that attack uh, that caused great bodily harm to that young couple. Hopkins introduced the 8 p.m. curfew ordinance at today's city council meeting. Mayor Brandon Johnson says an ordinance like this would be too confusing to enforce. If a young person have to be, has to be accompanied by an adult, what is the definition of an adult? Is it an 18-year-old? Is it a 19-year-old? Is it a 21 year old? These are just reasonable questions. And, you know, if a child is downtown at 801 with an 18 year old or a 19 year old friend, does that count as the accompaniment? Hopkins says police would not have the authority to arrest minors, but to take them to the nearest police station and call for an adult to pick them up. He says it would prevent mass gatherings of youth at public places late at night. The groups are gathering earlier. Uh, they're gathering on the beach. You know, the beach closes at 11 p.m. The curfew kicks in at 10 p.m. So an ordinance like this can help remove the young people a little bit earlier and get them safely home. I understand what with, with Alderman Hopkins' concerns are. I have them as well. But it's important that whatever we do as a city, it has to be something that is effective and that it works and that we can actually implement it and that it's constitutional. Hopkins faces an uphill battle to get votes in support of this ordinance, but notes the shot spotter vote where Mayor Brandon Johnson and his allies were roundly defeated by older people who wanted to keep shot spotter. Hopkins says this vote could break down along similar lines. Reporting from City Hall, Paris Schutz, Fox 32 Chicago.